Welcome to this video guys. Today we are going to solve 20 Java MCQs on variables. Let's get started. Question number one. Which among the following is not a variable type in Java? Okay, so over here we have five options. Local variable, method parameters. Method parameters are, are those variables which we, you know, declare during writing a method. Like if I, if I have a method like uh, int sum and I pass a and b like int a comma int b those declaration of variables are called method parameters then we have class variables then we have instance variables then we have constructor variables now over here we have to choose which is not a variable type in java so the option is e uh, the, the main purpose of you know putting this question up in the slide was just always remember these are the a b c d are the four types of the variables you know we uh, define in java question number two which variable are static again we have four same options local variables method parameters class variables and instance variables the option is option number c class variables are supposed to be static always because class variable uh, whenever we create object of class they share same set of uh, you know static variables throughout the class now we have a fun fact Local variable is only alive or has a lifespan within the block it is defined in it. For example, if you have a variable inside a method, the variable will only last long till the method is there. For example, if you have a variable inside a loop, so it will only last or be alive or accessible inside the loop. You know that we create a brackets, brackets like for the loop we have a curve uh, bracket and for you know class we have curly braces and uh, so basically local variable you know ends where the bracket ends which type of variable has shortest lifespan we have four same options local variables method parameters class variables instant variables we will discuss one by one okay Class variables are accessible throughout the class. Instance variables are accessible, you know. Uh, again, instance variables depend where we are defining it. But mostly we, we define instance variable as soon as we start writing or defining the class. Uh, then we have method parameters. Method parameters are also accessible throughout the method. Local variables has the shortest lifespan if we compare among the four of them. Objects of class fall under what category of variables? Whenever we create object of class, they fall under instance variables. Okay, if you create an object of a class, it will be an instance variable. If we consider a local variable int i, we have a if, we have int i defined here, not her, it is here, else will we else will we be able to access i over here so if i am writing a if else statement and i am defining int i inside if will i be able to access here there is a very basic you know thing which you can you know uh, check during local variables wherever the bracket starts the local vari or and wherever the bracket ends these are the two points in between you can use the local variable. It doesn't matter if it is a if statement, a switch, a while or do while or whatever. Where you see the end of the braces, over here, the lifespan of local variable dies. So no, even if the else is of corresponding if where the i is defined, you will not be able to access it over here. Okay, so this is a fun fact, a uh, lifespan. Uh, this is how you know we define how the variable lifespans are so class variable has the highest lifespan throughout a java program and local variables have the lowest lifespan in between we have instance variables and method parameters over here we have uh, for int i equals to zero i less than pi plus plus over here we have a code snippet can we access i outside for loop over here as you can see int i is defined inside 
the loop signature so this is considered to be as a local variable so as i said before wherever you see the end of the braces or end of the method or end of the block the lifespan of local variable dies so if you if you try to you know access uh, int i outside this end of the braces you won't be able to do it same uh, and within the block we define them in question number 6 what type of variables are defined in method signature local variables method parameters class variables or instance we are talking about method signature so the answer is option number b method parameters are defined inside method signature now let's move on to question number 8 choose the one with the longest lifespan this is a very easy one we did a fun fact on this we all know that instance variable the class objects have the largest lifespan question number 9 static keyword is used to define a class variable in java the answer is true whenever you define a class variable in java we use static keyword for it question number 10 class variables are accessible using which operator dot operator hash equal to or, or not so the answer is a dot operator dot operator is used to access you know class variables question number 11 can two local variables have same name if they have been defined in two separate blocks we all know that as soon as the block ends the accessibility or the local variable dies so the answer is yes if we are defining two local variables having same name or same you know definition signature in two separate blocks it won't give any kind of error it can run properly question number 12 which logical operator in java that works with a single operand so the answer is not okay with what is the symbol of not operator in java option number a which one is logical and a this is logical and question number 15 which one is short circuit and the option number is b and an and new operator is used to create instance variables the answer is true yes we use the word or keyword new operator whenever we create new instance variables for example if i am writing a uh, scanner s sc equals to new scanner system dot in so whenever i using new operator i am creating a new instance variable so whenever you have to create instance variables you can create you can use new operator or you can you know create uh, objects using a constructor question number 17 name of a variable cannot start with a small letter a capital letter a number or a underscore so the answer is option number c you cannot start a variable name using a number 18th question can i create a variable or data type string in java the answer is false you can also check a video that i have uploaded you know regarding data type uh, mcqs on java and uh, the answer is false because there is no string data type inside java question number 19 class variable should be static it is true class variables are supposed to be static question number 20 which stops after iterating false literal left left side uh so we have short circuit end and logical end whenever you are you know dealing with logical and or logical or you know it checks both left hand side or evaluates both left hand side and right hand side of the operator when it comes to short short circuit and or short circuit or whenever it sees the for example uh when it comes to or if any one of them is true it is considered to be true so when it comes to and if both are true then only it is considered to be true so whenever short circuit and you know detects or evaluates false on left hand side it does not evaluates the right hand side thank you guys for watching this quick 20 mcqs if you like it you can uh, you know find i have more up videos on c and java mcqs on my channel 
i hope you liked it i hope you took some knowledge out of it uh just thank you for staying till the end of the video